In the next case, an employee at a petroleum facility fell victim to toluene vapors within a 12 by 24 foot vertical storage tank. He entered through an 18 inch opening on the top and was to lower himself on a rope. Next, an SCBA was to be lowered to him. However, he never made it to the bottom under his own power, but rather fell victim to the vapors. The fire department was notified for rescue and EMS. Upon their arrival, the firefighters found the only access into the tank was through the 18-inch opening on the top. Upon inspection from this vantage point, the bottom of the tank was found to be obscured. Feeling this was a life and death situation, tunnel vision occurred, resulting in the decision to cut a hole in the side of the tank and remove the victim through the opening. The rescuers were under the false impression that water fog would help the situation by eliminating sparks on the inside and outside of the tank. However, this line of reasoning may have contributed to the disastrous results that followed. The fog line may have injected air into the vapor-rich mixture on the interior of the tank, lowering it into the flammable range. Also, the application of water to the area being cut does not reduce the sparks, as can readily be seen. As the third side of the hole was cut, an explosion occurred. victims all suffered the effects of concussion caused by the blast because proper protective equipment was worn most suffered only minor burns other firefighters now rushed to the aid of their fallen comrades <laughs> As the casualties were assessed, it became evident that one rescuer had been grievously wounded and was later to die. The autopsy of the original victim revealed his death had occurred a period of time prior to the explosion. The autopsy of the rescuer revealed a massive displacement of thoracic organs caused by the concussion of the explosion. A rescuer died in order to recover a body.